Yeah, Peter, hey, welcome to McCargill. Uh, this is uh, what, your second experience, I think, the Sheep Industry Awards. Um, that, but uh, you've, uh, in the trades area, you've got uh, three entries in that. Would you like to just walk us through the two, two areas you've entered um, in that? Yeah, the, uh, we've got in the, um, the terminal worth, we've got uh, 3003, which is Focus Prime, and 3007, which are the Texels. Um, and in the lamb growth section, we've got uh, 3003, which is the uh, Focus Primes. How long have you been in the stud breeding industry for, Peter? Um, I've been in, um, at, at Waikiri um, for fo uh, Focus Genetics for four years, uh, and I came from a commercial background, um, and then before that I was in the stud industry as well, so I've sort of come and gone from the stud industry over time. What do you enjoy about the stud industry? Uh, technology. Um, I love technology. The more I can get, the better. Um, and I just find it really interesting to, to evaluate and value uh, what each animal can produce and, and where their offspring go. Um, so that's real, really neat for me to, to get that um, going forward sort of factor when you can see what they can produce and what you can do with those animals. Um, and because if you look at the genetics involved, uh, the feeding um, and the longevity of those animals and what they produce in their lives, it's amazing. Yeah. What are some of the technologies that you use now that maybe you wouldn't have used say in your in your earlier days as a well, well now I'm really sport because I've got geneticists um, in our field um, through focused genetics um, and having those girls um, on your shoulder all the time is just amazing the stuff that they can um, extrapolate from different things that, that we record um, so even though we do a lot of recording on farm what those girls do in the background is basically what gets us ahead um, so that, you know they, they do an awesome job and they don't get much credit for it, um, but we'd be lost without them. So if I look at the terminal worth area where you've got entry, uh, what are some of the key uh, technologies or, or, or resources that you use there to grow that, that part of the business? Well, i say like the, 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 um, the Focus Prime um, and, and the Texels, both of them complement each other because they're across, um, and like we've made massive gains um, in the cell recording uh, for growth. Um, and meat eating quality, um, so that's really put us ahead um, dramatically year by year. Um, so we've made massive gains in those areas, um, and the, the now the new thing coming into the into the uh, sill trait things is this um, EQ um, through Focus Genetics, and that's one thing we're really pushing because that's what our markets are demanding. So that's eating quality. Yes. Yes. So what to take us through that? What sort of things are involved in that eating quality? The, um, we have to talk to a geneticist because they know more about them than what I do on, on how uh, they, they use the indexes to arrive at, um, at, a, at a, a minus and a negative figure um, and basically we want to achieve a, a, a positive figure um, to breed from so the higher the positive number the better um, and, and by doing that that tells us basically the amount of um, uh, marbling within the meat um, and because all these we've done test quality um, eating processes with these um, meats that we produce um, and they're actually starting to excel uh, in their own right for their meat eating quality and taste tests. So Peter, I know you've had a background in the commercial area or out back uh, in our neck of the woods. Uh, for a commercial farmer, uh, what are the sort of things that uh, using these indexes and stuff can help, do you think can help if you were back in a straight commercial situation? Well, uh, you know, like at the end of the day, is that we, if I was in the commercial world, we want our lambs um, off mum as early as we possibly can, so we target growth. So the faster they can grow, the better. Um, and that's what we want. So, and that's what the terminal was designed to do, was basically to grow a lot of meat in a hurry, um, and we get paid for meat carcass. And it's, it's all body weight, so that's why we target it. What does it mean to be a finalist in the Sheep Industry Awards? Oh, I mean, I, you know, like... It's, it's, um, it's a neat achievement to sort of know that you're doing a lot of work um, and sort of getting recognised for that work. Because, you know, we'd, we'd, as an industry, um, people do a lot of work on their farms um, and they just keep doing the same old, but they never sort of get recognised for it. So it's always a great achievement to sort of get an achievement like this because it sort of makes it all worthwhile at the end of the day. And because we've got so much pride in what we do, um, it's, it's just really neat to get recognised for it.